a lockdown, saying that decision should be left up to state governors. There are some states that don't have much of a problem. They don't have thousands of people that are positive. The president also downplaying the need for restrictions on domestic air travel. We're certainly looking at it, but once you do that, you really are, you really are uh, clamping down an industry that is desperately needed. In hard-hit New York City, nearly 1,400 lives have been lost. Temporary morgues now sit up outside of some hospitals. We're still looking for a curve. We're still looking to see where we hit the plateau. The number of hospital beds in the city is also growing, with medical facilities being set up aboard the U.S. Navy ship Comfort, inside the Javits Convention Center, in tents in Central Park, and the tennis center that hosts the U.S. Open. But even with equipment and personnel pouring in, doctors on the front lines are exhausted. This will be my 19th shift in the last 22 days, 23 days. A team of nurses at Mass General Boston releasing this video on Instagram. But I would be lying if I said I wasn't scared. Hospitals across the country are low on protective equipment. We are allotted one mask per day to conserve and prepare for the worst. In New Jersey, ER doctor Frank Gabrin died after contracting COVID-19. Amazing, amazing clinician, amazing human being, amazing, amazing human spirit. Meanwhile, in the Pacific, the American aircraft carrier USS Roosevelt has nearly 100 positive cases on board. A thousand crew members have now been removed from the ship. Another 2,700 expected to disembark in the coming days. They'll remain in isolation in the U.S. territory of Guam. Our goal is to get a clean ship. The Navy says it will eventually test all of the sailors, but some will have to remain on board to keep an eye on the carrier's nuclear reactor and the weapon systems. We need those sailors to be safe. We need them to be healthy, uh, and we need that ship to be operational. Al and Lisa Robertson's 28-year-old son, Jason Castricone, is a combat medic on board. He's taking care of all these sick um, service members, all his brothers and sisters, and... Um, is he going to be okay? Are they going to be okay? 